Hi, this is JDB31, and I wanted to share with you what I learned in occupational therapy, which was just to take the dice that you see right in front of me, right? Which these are average sized dice, and um, I can show you what you can do with them when you are uh, exercising. So I took them out of the bag. These are just regular dice you can get at any uh, pharmacy or or deli or corner store, right? And so one of the things that you can do is practice holding two, three, Four, five, releasing them one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, right? You can take them, gather them up, and you would practice your pincer grip. So it's your pointer and your thumb, right? And so let's say we want to change this to, to a six. So you see, there's a tension or pressure that you're trying to maintain and you're trying to balance your muscles at the same time. So say six, it's a little bit harder because I'm looking at my phone, but let's say I'm looking at it. You can roll it on the table, right? Or, can, oh, there's a six. Let's do it again for the rest. Right? Where is that? It's over here. Boom. Right? I'm using my, th my middle finger to kind of rotate the dice. I find the six. Oh. So I will uh, come back and rotate all of them. Oh, see, I lost my grip on that one, right? So, see my, my middle finger to rotate. Oh, shoot. I didn't get six on that one. Four, right? So I didn't explain before, but uh, occupational therapy was designed as a way just to do your ordinary everyday tasks, right? And then it included your fine motor skills. Fine motor skills involve your fingers, your toes, in your face think about it like moving small leaves off of a tree right the tree branch will be considered your gross motor skills and your your uh, tree leaves can move independently somewhat uh, somewhat independently from each other right and that it's fine motor skills. Right? When you have a traumatic brain injury, you're like, uh, and and you do this exercise, right? You are basically seeing if you can complete the task. Right? And there you go. Oh. oh. There's one that I messed up on. Ah, six. Okay. There you go. Except for this one. This one turned into five. Oh. There. They're all six. So this is the exercise that you can do with, um, with dice. Uh, thanks for watching.
for more videos like this where I explain simple things you can do after having a stroke. Uh, please subscribe and like. If you have any questions, please comment or message me directly. Thank you and I hope you have a great day.